By golly, ladies and gentlemen, step right up. I got a loaf of bread, a pound of meat, plus all the mustard you can eat. Walk in, you'll be glad you did. It's hot dog time, especially at the football season. So come on in and enjoy yourselves. You'll be glad you did. Well, when they first offered the applications to become a senator, I think it was uh, early uh, last year, I made an application then. So I think it's time that, uh, you know, I did something different, and I enjoy doing something for the public. I've always been interested in being with the public, interacting with the public, and I realize that there seems to be a lot of problem in the Senate where they're making the second reading, the, the, the Red Room, as they call it, so I thought it might be a big advantage to go there and maybe try and straighten things out. There's a lot of ordinary people out there. I, I don't like calling them ordinary, but ordinary people, and they should have an opportunity to go to the Senate, you know, whether it be a farmer, a hot dog vendor, a, a flower vendor, a carpenter, an electrician. I never see anybody up there representing those people, and there's so many of us. First of all, I, I, would, I think I would be mandatory that everybody be there. No more than these paid vacations. Sometimes they're not there, sometimes they are there, and they're still getting paid for what they're doing. So a mandatory attendance at all times is important, for sure. I wouldn't be affiliated with any kind of a, a political organization unless it's a, it's a good idea for the, for the, for the, for the Canadians. Uh, therefore, I would be very impartial, and that's what they want, somebody who's impartial and independent. So I would review things before I even put my okay on it. I wouldn't be uh, patronized, I wouldn't be influenced by other people to do such a thing. So very independent thinking, as, but as long as it's good for the Canadians, I'll do it.